Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the John Williams Geek Cantina, where we analyse brief moments from Williams' vast repertoire and ask, what exactly is he doing there? Today's brief moment sounds like this. Now essentially, that is just a B-flat major chord, but you can find a B-flat major chord in works by so many other composers like Bach, Beethoven, Clementi, Haydn, Lipinski, Mendelssohn, Mozart, Schumann, and the relatively contemporary William Walton. But how come none of those chords sound like John Williams' Star Wars chord? Well, let's take a look. Let's break it down by section. First of all, the woodwinds. Notice that every instrument is playing the root note, the B-flat. This ensures a strong establishment of the tonic, but at this point, no third or fifth. So let's move on to the brass. The brass plays a major role in establishing the chord. The trumpets are high in their register, the horns briefly hit the B-flat chord before moving on to its familiar fanfare, and the trombones begin their fanfare on a B-flat, another tonic note. So only the trumpets and horns at this point establish what the chord actually is. And of course the tuba, way down low. The strings play an exciting role. The tremolando violin B-flat gives some energy to the chord. The violas are supporting the horns. And the cello and bass are joining the tuba to add a nice strong low B-flat. The percussion has an interesting role to play. The tremolando on the triangle helps the violins to bring energy to the chord, and the timpani grace notes add a little bit of colour. Now you'll notice that even though the grace notes are written before the beat, in the actual studio recording of the movie soundtrack, those grace notes are played on the beat. However, in this performance from the Boston Pops, they're played before the beat. So maybe playing them on the beat in the studio was a call made by John Williams himself. Who knows? Either way, it adds interest to the chord. And of course, the symbols, the piatti, add a good strong accent. So what gives this chord its Star Wars character? The high trumpets, the tremolando B-flat from the violins accompanied by the triangle, the timpani grace notes. But also notice when you compress the chord onto two staves, you'll see that most of it sits in the upper register. No one's playing in this muddy area in the bass clef, and that gives it its shine and luster. It also doesn't hurt, of course, that you have the full might and power of the London Symphony Orchestra with that top trumpet B-flat played by Morris Murphy, sadly no longer with us, but whose upper register playing had a distinctive shine and sparkle. If you enjoyed this episode, please take a lightsaber to that like button, and if you're a John Williams geek like me, go ahead and subscribe so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time.